J'ai réfléchi à ça. Je veux continuer ce que mon père et toi vous avez bâti. Is your show on French? No. Yeah, it's yeah, no, it's a French Canadian show. Yeah. So the name is English, but it's a French Canadian show. Okay. Yeah. So did you discuss that with the producers after? Like, why did we do this? We're going to confuse people if they jump into this and think that it's an English show. <laughs> well, um, we discussed it a little bit, but because it talks about a paramilitary company, a Canadian paramilitary company, it didn't make sense to have a French Canadian name for such a big company. Okay. So we're just hoping that people won't get too confused. And if you think it is an English show and they start watching the show and it's in French and it has subtitles, well, maybe it's good in the end. The artist here, it's here that reunites the principal members of the gang of Manso. Tell me about your character in yeah. the show. So the show, the show is called Blue Moon, and I'm basically known in Quebec. I started acting in Quebec when I was like 13. I've mostly played the romantic girl next door. I was on Revenge for the past two seasons and playing a villain. And I guess, well, maybe the writers in Quebec were like, huh, okay, she can't not smile all the time and be like just this happy character. So they wrote the series with me in mind and the character, she's very, there's something much darker about her. So she, we start with her in the military and she inherits half the company of her father, which is Blue Moon and it's a paramilitary company, which just a little bit like the Black Cups and all that stuff. It's pretty much an action-driven series, which we don't do much in Quebec. So I had to train. It's really fast to lose it all. <laughs> but a few weeks ago, I was still pretty much in shape, but now I can wear dresses again. <laughs> I feel like it, lately, especially, there have been so many amazing roles for women, or at least it yeah. seems that there's so many uh, women's roles that have so many layers to them. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah. who is this person that, like, she doesn't just kick ass. I'm sure she has a softer side as well. Yeah, but sometimes it's, yeah, having a softer side or just being complex. And when you were talking about different layers, I think that that's what we want to see in female characters. You just want to feel their inner life. It's not only the villain or it's not only the happy girl or the girlfriend. It has more complexity. And sometimes I think that not only you would think that a character and a female character needs to be the lead to have that many layers, but sometimes I think that when you're not the lead but you're just the one next to it, you can challenge the audience sometimes even more. And it's great to see that they're doing that with female characters now. EP's TV coverage is brought to you by Xbox, makers of Rare Replay for the Xbox One.